Hello everyone, my name is Qian Yuzhou from Shanghai Jiao Tong University. Today, I'm going to talk about paper, Instance-Aware Domain Generalization for Face Anti-Spoofing, which is accepted to CVPR 2023. This is a quick overview of our paper. Considering that domain generalization-based face anti-spoofing approaches typically rely on artificially defined domain labels to perform the domain-aware generalization, which cannot guarantee that the learned representations are still insensitive to domain-specific styles. Thus, we aim to align features on the instance level without the need for domain labels, and focus on the instance-aware domain generalization. Uh, we are exploring asymmetric instance adaptive whitening on the fine-grained instance level. I will give my presentation as this order. Firstly, I would like to introduce the face anti-spoofing FAS problem. As we know, face recognition system has been widely utilized in our daily life, such as smart device authentication, access control, entrance guard system, and so on. The safety issue of it, of it has become an increasingly critical public concern. Hence, face anti-spoofing is designed to distinguish various face presentation attacks from live people to protect the face recognition systems. Although many recent FAS methods have achieved remarkable performance under the intradomain setting, their performance will drop significantly when encountering the unseen data in real world from different distributions. This is mainly due to the domain shifts between the training data and unseen testing data, such as sensor, illumination, attacks, spoof cues, background, and so on. Hence, recent methods delve into the domain generalization techniques to solve the above challenges. Recently, existing domain generalization-based FAS methods aim to learn the domain rather features via adversarial learning, meta-learning, and data augmentation. Such existing works heavily rely on the domain labels to align the distributions of each domain for learning the domain invariant representations. However, artificial domain labels are co-screened and subject subjective which cannot reflect the real domain distributions accurately. Besides, such domain level alignment is not fine-grained enough to ensure that the learned representations are insensitive to domain's specific styles. Therefore, our core idea is to align features on the instance level without the need for domain labels. This figure describes the whole pipeline of the proposed instance-aware domain generalization IADG framework which consists of three key components. Firstly, we propose asymmetric instance adaptive whitening, AIAW, to boost the generalization of features. We are adaptively whitening the style-sensitive feature coloration for each instance. Then, we present dynamic kernel generator, DKG, to automatically generate instance adaptive filters and works with static filters to facilitate the comprehensive instance-aware feature learning. Finally, categorical cell assembly, CSA, is presented to simulate the instance-wise domain shifts by considering the instance diversity to generate the style diversified samples in a wider feature space. As for DKG, it includes a static convolutional branch and a dynamic kernel branch, where the former has constant parameters and the latter has parameters conditioned on each instance. We first split the channels of input features and then generated the dynamic kernels, and finally performed the feature concat concatenation. Then, we present a CSA. We have two techni technical innovations here. Firstly, we consider the diversity of various source samples to generate novel styles in a wider feature space. Besides, we introduce a categorical concept into this module and separately augment the real and spoof samples to prevent the negative effects of label changes between the different classes. In detail, we first use FPS to select the style bases and store them in a memory bank. Then, we aggregate those basic styles and finally get the style reassembled samples. Next, the core idea of AIAW lies in two aspects. 
Firstly, we aim to selectively sur surprise the sensitive covariance and highlight the insensitive covariance. Besides, real features would be more compact, while the spoof features could be separated in the feature space. Thus, given the input feature, we derive the selective mask for the covariance matrix and adopt the mask for AIAW. During the training, our total training loss includes the classification loss, depth loss, and the AIAW loss. In the inference phase, only the original branch is used. We compare our IADG with the state-of-art FAFs methods on four testing domains, as shown in the table. IADG outperforms most of the SOTA methods, including conventional methods and DG-based FAS methods. And our proposed method is still effective even in limited source domains. The application studies show the individual components are complementary and together they significantly promote the performance. The visualization of the feature distribution show that the selected style basis by our methods can cover almost all of the source samples, and our proposed CSA generates more diverse and novel styles than the previous method. And this is the visualization of covariance and the grid cam acti activation maps and the different scenarios, which demonstrates the effectiveness of the proposed method. To sum up, our main contributions are threefold. Firstly, we propose a novel perspective of DGFAS that aligns feature representations on the fine grid instance level instead of relying on the artificially defined domain labels. Next, we present an innovative instance-aware domain generalization IADG framework, which actively simulates the instance-wise domain shifts and whitens the style's sensitive feature coloration to improve the generalization. Finally, extensive experiments with analysis demonstrate the superiority of our proposed methods against the state-of-art com competitors on the widely used benchmark datasets. That's all, thank you.